Hey guys, it's your regular piece of shit. Yes, I'm aware my hair looks terrible. <laughs> Hope everyone's been doing great. Uh, I am back again with another truth video. If you have not uh, been a part of this series, it is basically where I talk about things that make me uncomfortable or uh, bring me out of my comfort zone or things I just don't generally talk about because I'm scared to talk about them. My other two videos in this series are uh, why I gave up on filmmaking and um, my biggest insecurity. Those are good videos if you want to uh, see me be more open about things. But uh, yeah, today's video is about sexuality. So that's crazy. I'm wearing my rainbow hat in honor of gayness. I just wanted to talk about how sexuality has been a journey in my life, um, how I've uh, come to conclusions, how I've uh, tried to deal with it, and yeah, so let's get started. First of all, I do want to point out that yes, I do edit these videos because I cannot string a coherent thought for a 20-30 minute time period. So there's a lot of me staring at the floor, or staring at the wall, or just not saying anything for like minutes at a time because I'm fucking thinking. So, yeah, I added these videos to make it a more uh, enjoyable experience, I guess. Um, and so I don't look crazy. So yes, yeah, so I cut out my big ass pauses and my words that I can't say and shit like that. So it makes it easier. So, yes. So for people who are saying it's not authentic, you're wrong, thanks. So I wanna start off talking about uh, my young agehood, okay? So, um, you know, anytime between the ages of five and like 12, I was like, well, even further past that, really. I was like boy crazy. I talk about boys all the time. I do it for new boys every day. I'm like, oh my God, he's so cute. And then the next day I'm like, oh my God, he's so cute. And I had a list of like seven in my head between that entire time period that I thought was cute and I like liked them. Um, I'm weird. Yeah, I was crazy about boys. I didn't even know what gay meant until I was like 12. I led a very naive childhood. I didn't realize things I should have known. So yes, between this period, middle school especially, if you haven't seen my video with um, me reading my diaries, boy crazy, let me fucking tell you what. I'm 13 in those and the other ones I'm reading currently are, I'm 15, 14, 15 and still nuts. It was right when I was getting into high school where people started asking me questions. I am like a tomboy by nature, um, much to my mother's dismay. Um, she always tried to make me dress girly or, you know, encourage me to and I didn't want to. Um, I was always kind of a tomboy. Um, I say this, in middle school I wore big fucking shirts and saggy jeans and thought it was cute, so. Anyway, I never really wore dresses a lot or skirts or anything like that, so because of assumptions, people started asking me, like, you know, if I was gay. I remember specifically in freshman year of high school, I had two friends. They asked me specifically, hey, like, are you gay? And I was, def I was on a definite no. I'm like, no, no, I'm not gay. Like, I think one of them had heard me talking about a boy I liked, and she was like, oh my god, I thought you were gay. I was like, no, I'm not gay. So yes, I was on a definite no, I'm not gay. I didn't, uh, you know. People just assume things that I let them assume and I didn't care. I even had a couple of boyfriends in high school. Like, I, I guess that squashed those rumors pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, um, there's a specific story I wanted to talk about that kind of um, digressed, uh, fuck, I don't know the word. Set me back a little bit. <laughs> Digress, I think that's the word. Um, with uh, trying to figure out what was going on. So I, had been watching YouTube videos and uh, I found this uh, girl who was, I don't know if she was transgender or if she was just very masculine, but she was definitely a woman, but not. Anyway, she was like playing piano or something, guitar, I don't know, it was really nice and I was like, holy shit, she is hot. Wow, and I was like amazed and so I sent it to one of my friends um, and tried to I was like, wow, you gotta listen to this to this girl sing, but I was trying to get her to say that they were cute. I was just playing a stupid prank. Yes, it's dumb, I realize this. Nobody come after me for things when I was young. Anyway, she watched this video, she came back at me right away and was like, whoa, Jessica, that is a girl, that is not a boy. If you, if you have something to tell us, you better tell us like right now because we have to know. I literally was like, 
Whoa. Push myself back. I said, whoa, whoa. Just playing a prank. <laughs> uh, just joking. Just joshing. Just, it's okay. Um, yeah, it was really weird. And I had to, like, tell her, like, everything was cool. Um, and it was a very weird experience for me because I thought maybe if I was gay, um, or whatever, if I did like girls in some uh, sense, that they would not be accepting of me. And that was, like, hard to process, um, because they were my friends, and, uh, I didn't, uh, I don't want to lose them, obviously, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was a weird thing for me, so I kind of pulled back, I was like, ah, well, let's, let's just not talk about this anymore. So by, like, end of high school, early college, I was identified as bisexual. I believed that, um, I would not be opposed to being with a woman, um, and that was cool with me. Um, it was cool with my now husband, Brandon, who, um, you know, is very supportive of me all the time, and, um, he's great, and, uh, yeah, he doesn't care, obviously, but, um, I had people who would, uh, question me being bisexual. I had one girl who would, um, who was like, well, you're with a boy, and I was like, well, yeah, but that doesn't mean if I wasn't with a boy, I wouldn't be with a girl, and she's like, but you're with, you've got a boyfriend, and I was like, Listen, if I didn't have a boyfriend, I might have a girlfriend, okay? So that, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's just something I didn't talk about with a lot of people. Um, Lord, even my family doesn't even know. Um, <laughs> hello? <laughs> when I look back um, at, you know, my middle school, high school days, I realized something crazy. Um... So, while I was kind of going through this process of trying to figure out what my sexuality was, what I was feeling, I realized um, that I might have liked one of my friends um, more than I thought I might actually like them. Um, for la you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I will never ever tell who it was or who, whatever, I won't tell you if they were a close friend or if they um, were an acquaintance or whatever. But I realized this could have been a possibility um, because I cared about this person a lot. Um, and I, it, sorry, this is hard to talk about. I've never like talked about this. It was just a weird realization for me and kind of firmly like put in the idea that, oh, I mean, women were definitely a possibility, like, you know, could be, if uh, I weren't with a man. That was my, through my childhood. Recently, I've kind of dug deeper a little bit into myself and uh, figured out that, and if we're, this is if we're putting a label on things, obviously I just identify as queer, but I realized that I uh, am pansexual, which if you don't know what that means, it just means that um, I love people based on them, uh, not on gender, lack of gender, etc. So this doesn't exclude transgender people, female to male, male to female, uh, non-binary people, agender people, um, things like that, uh, men, men, women, whatever. Because my thing is that I love people and uh, I've explained this in the video uh, about my insecurities, that I love people more um, more than I'd like to give myself credit for. And I just love people for who they are. And um, I find transgender people beautiful and uh, agender people beautiful, men and women both beautiful. Um, and I could be with anybody. If I wanted to. Realization on that um, part of my life. Um, and yes, I am with a man and I plan to be with this man for the rest of my life and I have never been with a woman or a transgender person or whatever, but I know that I love people, like I said, and that it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, they wouldn't be excluded if I had the option. And I just want to Reiterate that I love my husband with all of my heart. I never want us to go anywhere. He's my love. He's my soulmate. And um, this is just part of identifying 
who I am because sexuality is a part of people and uh, I can't just be floating in the abyss not knowing um, so everybody's got one just like everybody's got a gender or not or um, just like everybody has hobbies or the color of their eyes or whatever it just is a inward part of people and that's it. I hope I didn't sound too scattered in this video or too crazy or whatever. I just uh whew, wanted to talk about something that I don't talk about because I just don't talk about it. Um, I don't really I don't speak eloquently at all. Um, I try. <laughs> doesn't get across that way but just want to talk about it I guess. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments or concerns you can go to my Twitter. It's in the subscribe. Uh, it's in the description box. Um, or you can just DM me on here or whatever. You can comment down below letting me know if you're uh, more open about it or whatever. I won't be judging at all. Um, and yeah, like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays are for gaming. Saturdays are for doing whatever I want to do. Thanks again, you guys. Peace.